I elected to draw this piecewise function out at first. We have a quadratic shifted down to when x is less than or equal to 2. That's why we filled in this solid dot. And we are a line when x is greater than 1. That's why we have an open circle right at 1. So hopefully you can see from the picture that the limit must not exist. But the actual function value at 1 is down here at negative 1. But how could we figure out all of that without drawing the picture? Well, again, all we need to do is look at the left behavior. The left is defined by x squared minus 2. That's really equal to f of x. So we plug in our 1, and we get 1 squared minus 2 equals negative 1. And we look at our right behavior. Our right behavior is defined by x minus 1. We'll plug in that same 1, and now we get 0. And as soon as you see that negative 1 and 0 are not the same, then from the left, we do not equal the y value from the white, right, and so our limit can't exist. How could we find out what the function value was? Well, again, we would just plug in our 1 into the x that is being defined by x is less than or equal to 1, and we get this answer negative 1.